Sailing can leave parts of a field unproductive, but now there's a solution to help bring those areas back to life. An Arizona-based company is taking technology developed for golf courses and using it to take salts out of the soil. Rose Dunn has more on how a product called calcine improves the soil and helps it grow crops again. Too much calcium leaves soils unproductive and costs growers money. Land can become too saline from too wet or dry conditions, irrigation, or a number of other factors. But a product called calcine can help solve that. We saw calcine begin to work in drier areas. We've been in real wet areas in the last several years, too. Jim Erickson of Erickson Custom Operations brought calcine to this area about six years ago. It allows the calciums and the soil properties to delineate the salts out of the soil. Releasing the natural nutrients and, and getting the crops to come back to life and getting the soil, first of all, to come back to life. Gary Wagner farms in northwest Minnesota. His soil varies from heavy clay to sandy soil, and he's noticed the salts have gotten worse over the past 10 years. Our experience is normally along roadsides, whether it be highway, putting salt on highways and, and that getting up in the fields or satellite imagery, we looked at it, you can see exactly where the calcine was. We have more growth in those areas. We're becoming a believer. Calcine not only brings saline or sodic soils back to life, Erickson says they're seeing growers save money in the face of rising input costs, especially fertilizer. Calcine was designed to, to open up that ground. And um, in that process of opening up the ground, it, we're, we're also learning what it's doing to release the natural nutrients that are in the soils, if it's nitrogen, potassium. An added benefit is that calcine warms the ground so growers can get in the field faster. You can put it on any time. Uh, we have producers right now out on frozen ground that are out spraying it because it'll, it'll go down on the ground and be there and be ready for them before they go out to plant. We've seen the germination take place quicker as well because it does warm up the ground. That can increase yields and you can apply calcine throughout the season. Farmers are putting it down in row with their starter fertilizers, whether it's beans or corn or whatever. If it's, if it's wheat, small grains that are going down, they can go out and do spray applications with the calcine on top of the soil through their post or pre-emerge applications combined. Erickson warns calcine is not an overnight miracle. It's a three to five year reclamation process. But he says growers can start to see a return on investment in their first crop year, not to mention a significant increase in the value of restoring unproductive land. We want you to see this work. This isn't about spending money. It's about investing some money to see what you can get to come back again. This is Rose Dunn for Ag Week. To learn more about how calcine works, contact Jim Erickson at ECO at the number or email on your screen.